Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different from what I've done in the past kind of ish. <laughs> this is going to be more of a discussion style video to start as I really just wanted to talk about some of my collection plans moving forward. Basically, I want to change some of my collecting habits and the way that I collect certain groups. And I know that I've mentioned similar things to this in the past, but I really kind of wanted to set some new goals for 2022, even though I know we are already like two months into the new year. But I really want to create some new goals and stick to them. I don't think that creating new goals at not the start of the year is a bad thing to do. I think you can create new goals for yourself whenever you want and that's why I'm doing this. So basically I need to start curating my collection a little more, even more, than I have in the past. I know I've mentioned curating my collections before but once again we need to curate a little bit further and basically what this means is that I really want to focus on core collections and kind of take it easy on the rest and what I mean by core collections is Many of you know my old groups are NCT, Woods, Victon, and SF9, so I'm going to be considering those as my core groups and groups that I really want to continue collecting as I am now, therefore those collections will not be changing. And then taking all of my other collections for smaller, not smaller groups, but not alt status groups for me personally at least, and kind of curating the way that I collect those groups moving forward. I'll kind of explain everything a little more as this video continues, but basically there's going to be a lot of changes in the way I collect moving forward yet again. So as you can see, I've taken out my A5 binder that features photo cards for members that I no longer collect but couldn't part ways with or um, members of groups that are either no longer active or that I never collected everything to begin with. And basically this binder is going to be remaining unchanged as well. Nothing too crazy is going to change here. I have gone in and revamped it a little bit. So we are going to go through this just so you have an idea of what this binder is like. But before I continue, I do want to mention that this is going to kind of become a bit of a mini series, if you will. So there's going to be a few more videos moving forward where I kind of go more into depth with some of the other groups that I'm going to be changing in the way I'm collecting. So this is the first video of maybe about six or seven. So do stay tuned for that series. But we are going to start with this binder, which you guys, like I said, have seen in the past. It's one of the Beyond D binders that a lot of people have been using, and I do like it. It is very sturdy, but you will see moving forward that some of my uh, new, not new collections, collections that I will be altering will also be in a smaller binder setting, but they're not going to be Beyond D binders. I'm going to kind of switch it up a little bit, but first let's flip through this one just so you have an idea of what's going on in here. So we do have Songhua, who is a member of ATs that I used to collect. I no longer do, but these were the cards that I couldn't get rid of because they are some of my favorites and I just couldn't say goodbye. And then I have another hollow on the back. I just didn't want to give him a whole new page for one card, so he's going to stay there for now. Then we have Lino. As you can see, I have kept a good chunk of his pouty face photo cards. I think they are the cutest. So yeah, and we have a few more here, as you can see. There's a couple more gaps just in case I happen to find some more photo cards of his that I really love. And then next up we have Hyunjae from The Boys. As you know, I have also stopped collecting him, obviously, but here are some of his cards of mine that are my favorites and that I couldn't let go of, as well as this Jacob and this Canada line that I recently got in my Maverick album. And then we have Hyunjun, who was a former member of The Boys, but has now recently just signed to, uh, I think on a, I forget what the label is, but he's going to be focusing on acting, which is so exciting. I'm very happy for him and I can't wait to see him in some future projects. But these are the cards of his that I had that I decided to keep in here. Again, another one on the back that I didn't want to give a whole new page to. And then Kihan, a member of Monsa X that I did get rid of, not get rid of, I hate saying that, but I always say it, that I decided to stop collecting. But again, these are my all-time favorite photo cards of his, so I decided to keep those four. And if you're kind of sensing a theme, 
I have kept multiples of four as best as I could that would fill out some of these pages really nicely and I think having smaller binders like these with only four pages for some of the groups that I don't you know need to be collecting everything for is really helpful because it helps me narrow down the cards that I do keep to a you know a manageable amount. So then we have JB. As you know, I used to have a whole nine pocket page of his cards that I decided to keep once I stopped collecting him, but um, I have since narrowed that down to these four, and these are the only four that I'm going to be keeping. And then here we have Jungwon and Nikki from Inhypen. Um, I also stopped collecting Inhypen, but these were some of my favorites. And you know, when I watch these survival shows, I feel like <laughs> I feel obligated to have to collect the groups afterwards, and I don't think that's necessarily a thing. So if I feel like in the future I watch a survival show, for example, I watched Wild, and now the group that came from that show, Tan, is about to debut, I don't think I need to be collecting everything, but maybe I'll get an album and I'll keep like one of my biases cards in here. I don't think I'll, you know, I don't need even four. I can do two of him. I can do one. Like it's really not that deep. So again, like I said, I watch a lot of these survival shows. I feel like I need to support them. And then I find like, not that I, not that I shouldn't be supporting them, obviously, but there's other ways that aren't financially straining, if that makes sense. So decided to keep these ones here the same goes for txt and treasure i stopped collecting them but i decided to keep a couple of their cards that i really loved i do still collect p1 harmony but i only collect Kyo now so um decided to get rid of i hate saying that <laughs> decided to part ways with um some of the other members that i was collecting i was collecting both Kyo and intact um for recent albums and i decided not to do that anymore but i really do love this intact photo card so i kept it then we have Wanjun of Elast and we have Mill from Only One Of. Elast I did decide to stop collecting, although I really do enjoy their music. I just, again, I I don't know. I, I obviously love listening to their music and I'll continue to support via streaming, but in terms of collecting financially, it's just not going to be feasible going forward. Um, only one of, I do still collect KB fully. I used to collect Mill fully as well and Nine, um, but I got rid of, <laughs> I said goodbye to Nine a little while ago and then Mill was recent, but these are two of my favorite photo cards of his ever, so I kept these. Then we have these ones of the eight, which I don't think I've been able to let go of since I stopped collecting him. I've had these since the beginning of time. <laughs> I've had them since I started collecting K-pop, um, way back like when I first started before I collected all versions of albums before I collected all versions of photo cards but I had these and there's just something about them that I can't say goodbye to they have a special place in my heart I love this album it's probably my favorite 17 album of all time so yeah decided to keep those then as you can see we have Pentagon and I have Yanan and these are all just from the Lover Take album I do have an extra spot here because I did order their um invite you is that what it was called yes their recent album and i do want one of yanan's photo cards to put in there see that this is how i feel like collecting for me will go moving forward if i really 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 love an album i'm gonna buy it do i need to collect a single member and every single one of their photo cards for it absolutely not do i need to now go back and collect the entire backlist of their albums definitely not so that's just how it's going to be for pentagon moving forward i'm sorry if you can hear our washing machine going off. I am doing some laundry and it's very loud. I apologize. And then next up again we have some cards from just random albums that I've purchased which is kind of how I feel like my collection is going to go in the future. I have a couple of Yes Sung's photo cards from his solo album. I have a Kai photo card from his solo album and then this Kai photo card from Obsession because we all know how much I love Obsession. Again, I have some more random photo cards. So we have one card from Key's Bad Love album, which I absolutely loved once again. Didn't need to collect everything for it, but I really love that album and I wanted a copy, so that's what I did. I kept this one one pill from my entire day six collection and everything else I said goodbye to. Then I have this tail photo card from Block B. I love Block B for those who don't know. And I never like I got into K-pop just like a little too late to collect them properly, but I did buy one of their albums and tail is my bias and i pulled him so obviously i kept that and i will never say goodbye to that 
and then I think we all know the story behind this hockey mark um, I said if I were to by chance pull it from um, the what album was this the resonance resonance I believe it was yeah resonance album that i would keep it and i pulled it so i kept it <laughs> and then we have my little page of wusong i this one is from one of the roses albums and then these are from wusong's wolf solo album so yeah just little cards that i kept here and there and then a new development actually for this binder i know a lot of you have seen that i was collecting wehai daehyun's photo cards i don't know how many of his photo cards i will continue to buy moving forward but these are the ones that i decided to keep from the ones that i did have and the rest i have said goodbye to and that is it for this little binder which is once again my binder of members and photo cards that I just couldn't get rid of but I don't actively really collect. So as I kind of mentioned earlier, what I really love about A5 size binders is that the four pocket pages really limits me in how much I can collect and what I do choose to keep, which is kind of what my goal is moving forward. I really do want to limit myself as much as possible which means I really do want to utilize more A5 binders for some of my other collections. Therefore, I'm bringing you this video, which will be the first in this little series of me going through some collections and explaining to you how each of these collections will be changing while also organizing some new A5 binders with you all. So for the second half of this video, I'm going to be showing you a binder, a new A5 binder that I already organized off camera because I wanted to be sure I liked the way it looked before converting literally half of my collections into this style of collecting. So yeah, here it is. It is this little kind of, um, what is this material, like plasticky binder that I found. I love it. I love the yellow rings. I love the little daisies. I just think it's so cute. Yes, obviously it's not as sturdy as one of these, but the way that I have planned in my mind to store them, it shouldn't be a problem. I will probably discuss that at a later date because I'm not certain that it's what I'm going to be doing, but I really do love this binder a lot. So I'm just going to move this one out of the way. And of course, I will link everything down below. I did buy this binder on Amazon. I did buy some four pocket pages on Amazon as well. Just a reminder that all of the links that I post down below will be Amazon affiliate links, just so you're well aware of it. But yeah. So this binder features some groups that I'll no longer be collecting fully, some of which I haven't been already for a while now and that you guys already know about. But basically for these groups, I'll buy one version of an album if I feel like it and we'll trade those pulls that I get in that one copy to my bias if I didn't already pull them and then I'll be calling it a day. I don't need everything for these collections anymore, but I'll still support when I can by buying one copy of an album if I want to or I will be supporting them via streams as a primary focus of how I'll be supporting these groups going forward. I won't be getting rid of any of the cards that I already own, except for maybe like a few here and there that you can always find listed on my Instagram if you're interested. But without further ado, let's go through this binder that I've already organized. And um, yeah, so it does have this little button closure as well, which I really love. But as you can see, first up, we have Huanung of One Us. So this is one of those collections that I've already kind of been you know, limiting myself, and I think a few of you are aware of that. But basically, moving forward, I'll just be collecting one version of an album if I want to, and therefore trading whatever pulls come in there for Huanung pulls, and that's it. So, again, I could, you know, they could drop a new album and I might not buy it at all, and that's totally okay. <laughs> so, just want to keep that in mind going forward so let's just take a look at what this looks like so i like i mentioned i haven't gotten rid of anything i've kind of just organized it in a way that i enjoy it's kind of hard when things in albums don't come in a multiple of four for example in its time had three photo cards so obviously it's not going to be all together but i tried my best to have these in here in a cohesive way like having all of these i threw in this which isn't really a photo card it's more of a random inclusion but it fit so i did that <laughs> and this is where we have left off this is my most up-to-date album card of his and then i kept well i mean i think these were the only pre-order benefits that i have as well as this other random inclusion but moving forward i probably won't be collecting any pre-order benefits for him anymore so i'm happy to have just this four pocket page and that's it 
then next up as always one we comes next up until this moment i do have every single photo card for Hoon, and i kind of do feel like i want to continue doing that moving forward but i did put them in this binder as like i said it is not a core collection so i don't want to pressure myself to collect more than i need to by having them in a nine pocket binder if that makes sense so here is what i have so far we finally got that umbrella card that i've been waiting for for a while and then their new album i have ordered it as you know there's been like a whole thing of issues but i did cancel my k-town for you order and i have since reordered from another store and it should be arriving very soon at the time of me filming this you might actually see that unboxing before you see this video but very excited about that and then i have the two uh unit cards that i have and i just decided to keep them on their own little page and then next up we also have another rbw group and that is purple kiss and i collect doshi at this moment in time i do have all of her photo cards that are currently out as well but the same goes for the groups previously if they drop a new album and i want to buy a copy i will if i don't i won't etc i'm not going to keep repeating myself so yeah that's it for doshi and then i do have this like divider here because i wanted to separate rbw from what comes next and that is cix so this is again another collection that i have since been not on like only purchasing one version of an album from i think a lot of you already know that so yeah moving forward sumoon will be one of my lower priority collections but here we go. This is the album that I only bought one version for and decided to get both photo cards from that version because I thought they were adorable. And then we have some of the pre-order benefits that I've collected over the years with him, but moving forward, I probably will not be collecting anymore. And then we have a few other random things. These are both Japanese. This is from a Seasons Greetings. And then this is a, actually it's a BX signed photo thing that was gifted to me. And I have decided to keep that obviously. And then next up we have On and Off, again, another group in which I never really collected every single photo card and I've been happy doing that and I will continue to do that, especially now that we're gonna have a little bit of a hiatus with them anyways, it felt right to just kind of put them in a smaller binder like this. So here we have Hyojin and again, I don't have every single photo card for him and I'm okay with that. His selfies are so cute, I'm happy with whatever I can get. And again, I tried to keep the backs a little bit cohesive as much as i possibly could at least so there's that and then we have this one is a pre-order benefit um just because i wanted to fill out that page with a fourth popping photo card so i could have four goosebumps um and then these are a few pre-order benefits that i've collected again over the years but i probably won't go out of my way to collect more of in the future and that brings us to the end of this new little miscellaneous binder as mentioned i'm not dropping any of these groups per se but just shifting my focus to support via streaming as a priority and collecting photo cards and albums when and if i can financially <laughs> also mentioned before these four pocket pages really do help me limit the amount that i do keep and collect as they take up less room on my shelves as well so it's a win-win for everyone like i said this will be a series so we're going to be talking about some of the other groups and collection changes in the future but collections that won't be changing and i mentioned this earlier that i'll continue to collect completely as of right now at least are nct victon woods and sf9 as for the rest you'll just have to wait and see so if you don't want to miss any of the future videos in this series, I highly recommend subscribing if you feel like it. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I look forward to talking to you in the next one in the series. Bye bye